Now we have our setup row. And the setup row looks really funny with holes, but there's a sequence of double crochet, chain two, skip a space around. So we're going to join our new color on the next round. And for me, it just helps to get a little bit prepared ahead of time. So I've got my new color ready. I have my chain two. Here's my last stitch. I'm skipping a space. I'm going to make my last double crochet right here. And then chain two. In sequence, we would skip this space. And then we're going to join the round into the first double crochet. Now here's where we drop our old color and join the new color. So I've got the last active loop. I've inserted my hook into the top of the first double crochet. I'm joining my new yarn, drawing a loop through. So I want to make sure that the old color is a nice, tight, snug fit. I've got my new color loop on my hook. I'm going to yarn over, draw a loop through. That's my chain one. And now we're going to start the first mosaic double crochet round. So the changing color sequence and then chain one act as a zero value, no count action in the round. We start with chain two. So one, two, we skip the first double crochet. And a mosaic double crochet starts with a yarn over. So we have a yarn over. We're double crocheting over the chain two space and into the top of the double crochet below. We did our mosaic double crochet, chain two. And now we look at the work. So mosaic double crochet starts with a yarn over. We're skipping the double crochet, moving over the chain two space into the top of the double crochet from the row below. Yarn over, double crochet, chain two space into the top of the double crochet two rows below. You notice that as I'm working, I pinch the chain two back. So I yarn over, I insert my hook, and then I even just like pinch that together because it makes the double crochet easier for me. And then chain two, 